Intersolar Day One. I'm Jonathan Gifford, the editor in chief of PV Magazine, and I'm joined by Alex One, who heads the module unit for Neo Solar Power NSP. Now, for for more than a decade, NSP has been very well known in the PV market as a producer of high efficiency and quality cells. Now, the the company is undergoing somewhat of a transformation yep. into the module business and also into downstream. Alex, you you run the module business for yep. NSP. Yep. Um, oh, how much module capacity are you developing, and, and why did you make the move? Okay, so uh, we are uh, we started from 200 megawatts uh, two years ago, but today we have already have uh, 800 megawatts now. Uh, so uh, we're still increasing the uh, our market share in Europe, in Taiwan, and the United States. So uh, maybe eventually we will increase in the module capacity from 200, 800, maybe more than one giga or even two giga in the uh, in the. Uh, in, in two or three years. And do you have on display at the booth here uh, a mix of 72-cell uh, modules, 60-cell yeah. modules yeah, yeah, that are yeah. more of a standard module, but you yeah. also have some very interesting modules uh, along the cell level with a heterojunction cell yeah. and a very interesting one, a high-density yeah. module. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What can you tell me about the high-density module? Oh, high-density module, uh, is, uh, is, uh, we, uh, we start from this project in, uh, one year ago. Uh, we are coping with some uh, equipment vendor. They say uh, we can cut the uh, cell into pieces. Then you can put more cell into one frame. For them, for, for this case, you can feel that this is a 72 cell module dimension. But actually, you can put 68 cell inside. That means that you don't need to increase the uh, cell efficiency. But you have more cell into a certain dimension, then you can get more power. This is the basic concept of the high density. So high density means that you have more cell in one module size. And absolutely zero white space, or zero, zero space, space that is yeah. lost. The, the yeah. whole face is, is yeah. so, light absorbing. Isn't yeah, it? so that means that all the uh, light absorbing part removed like a bus bar. So you see no bus bar there. And we're talking about a, a power rating of something like 380 to 390 watts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite incredible. Yeah, we we hope that the uh, in case uh, in case the equipment uh, issues solved, maybe you will very soon see the uh, we put mass production the, uh, for this product. When do you think? Maybe can you give me a guess? I think uh, I need uh, one more years because uh, so uh, currently uh, uh, we need to solve the uh, equipment issue. We need to solve the uh, yield rate and super issue. Mm -hmm. So most of part is uh, 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 manufacturing uh, technology. Yeah. Okay. Another move that NSP has been making is is into the project development yeah. business. So yep. getting involved yeah. downstream as, yeah, as downstream. well. Yeah. Just what kind of annual figures are you looking at in terms of PV power plants that you're developing or involved? Currently, in? our, our, our annual target is 200 to 300 megawatts per year, mm -hmm. and uh, it's worldwide, and that including the Taiwan, including the uh, U.S., including the uh, uh, Euro European countries. So uh, we are not limited to Taiwan. We are in case. Um, uh, my uh, my uh, our partner worldwide, they have some good project. They were introduced to NSP. Then we we'll send team to make uh, the uh, uh, due diligence, to make a survey, make a, make a, then make a summary, and we can we can invest or not. In, in case the positive, then we invest. Mm -hmm. And so you are participating as as an investor and and an owner in some of these projects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah sometimes we own the projects for a period of time. Yeah, some maybe some project I I, I don't know maybe uh, some project we got on for twenty years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially in Taiwan. Okay, well, you mentioned Taiwan market quite a bit. Yep. There's been, of course, a big political change <laughs> in Taiwan. There's yeah. a new president, a new president yeah. in place. Does this give new hope to the PV sector? I will not say new hope that, the, but she is uh, more aggressive in the uh, than before in the uh, renewable energy because the because the. Uh, I think the, the the DPP, the, the party now is uh, they don't like to have more the, too much nuclear power. They don't like to too much for sale. So, what else we can choose? The next one is uh, new renewable. Uh, PV is uh, more promising now. So, the uh, the president will pay more attention on the uh, develop uh, PV uh, 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 PV system in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think uh, we will see, and you will see in the uh, following few years, we will have more 
PV subject, uh, PV uh, project in Taiwan. And we've seen PV developed on the rooftop in Taiwan. Yep. Is there any hope for, for any other applications? I think in the past, in the uh, past few years, yes, uh, most of the project is installed in the rooftop. But you know, rooftop always limited. For the next step is for the new government that's how to develop a new area. Maybe some land will be released. Maybe some dam, some pond can be released for floating system. Uh, I don't know. So, so, so the, uh, the government now is uh, more aggressive than before. So they were thinking about it, how to create the area for the PV uh, system. Okay, well, opportunities emerging for NSP, Neo Solar Power, in their 11th year as they make their transition from cell to module and project develop, developer. Alex Wen, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you.